Hi Karen. Okay, just for the start, tell us something about yourself. Um, tell us what you, like, what you like to do in your free time. Hi, my name is Karen. I am uh, just came back from New York. Um, in my free time, I actually really like to read and maybe go bowling, play a little bit of tennis. A lot of people say I look like Lucy Liu. I can actually impersonate her. Um, I'll show it to you. There, Lucy Liu. A lot of my friends tell me that, you know, if you have an accent, you can, you know, come to Singapore and do whatever you want and, and you definitely get it. But I, I believe that I'm really different because I've got loads of talents. I, I can do like accents, different types of accents, not just like one or two, you know. So shall we try some British accents and tell us something in a British accent? Sure. Would you like to have some tea with the Queen in England, London and have a little bit of scone too? Mm, very good. Thank you. French accent, shall we try that now? Would you like to get to Paris? Um, put to go to a couture show with a little bit of accessories. Uh, um, it's not very comfortable, but uh, the 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 well, how do you say? Um, you know the the things are very um, you know yes, je ne sais quoi to it. Uh, you know the the place is beautiful. Very good. How about Japanese now? Japanese, cool. Do I go into like the porn things, like how they always go, you die, you die, you know, that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah really I really cool. like that. <laughs> you know who I really like to imitate is these girls that, you know, sit with their boyfriends and like these, these coffee shops and this food court things and they always like, um, baby, baby, what the hell is going on? I mean like, hello? Okay, besides the baby talk thing, you know what I really can't stand? I really can't stand when they do that accent thing like Oh, I like to go to Starbucks and drink this coffee and that and I don't know, they don't, they didn't learn it from TV Like, TV, hello, like, what's going on? Like, okay, you watch TV and then you think I should pick up this accent One of my friends was, was he doesn't really speak English very well He just, you know, he has this like strong accent I think, you know, in Singapore it's called mud accent or something and, okay, you know the, the song by Aerosmith, the, um, the one from Armageddon? The, I don't want to close my eyes, I don't want to fall asleep cause I miss you babe and I don't want to miss a thing. I don't know how they do it, but I think it's really cool that they can do that, you know. It's, it's just something that, you know, I like to learn more, you know, Singaporeans are really cool to tell the truth. They've got like tons of people and, and you know, those aunties at coffee shops and, and they speak to you like I said, you know, you are a foreigner, even though I'm Chinese, and they'll go like, um, is it one, this one? Is it this one? Uh, chili? Chili, ah? Chili? Yeah, I, I think I know what the hell chili is. I mean, I'm Chinese and I speak a little bit of Chinese and yeah, but yeah, I really understand. I'm, I'm, you know, quite, I guess, bilingual. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Can, can you sing the song from the top? Just now that song you sing? Just the, 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 the Armageddon one? The yeah, the Aerosmith one. Yeah. From the beginning? From, from the, the top? Beginning. Okay, the sure. Top. I could stay away. Just to hear you bleeding I could stay lost in this moment Forever Every moment spent with you Is the moment I treasure I don't want to close my eyes I don't want to fall asleep Cause I miss you babe And I don't want to miss a thing I love watching TV. I grew up with TV. I think if I didn't go to school, I'll be so smart because you learned everything from TV. I mean, I don't know why I went to school because, I mean, Sesame Street and like Electric Company. Hello, those are like the greatest shows on TV. People still learn from it. Children still learn from it. So I know everything about TV. I mean, you name it, I know it. Not just TV, movies, celebrities, anything, their private lives, their whatever they did before, who they're married to, and how many children they've got, I know all this stuff. Did you know that 
Jennifer Aniston's fathers from Days of Our Lives. And she was the sister in Ferris Bueller's Days Off and, you know, in the sitcom. And um, Johnny Depp was in one of the Nightmare on Elm Street. And um, Ryan Reynolds is married to Alanis Morissette. And he was in Two Guys and a Girl in a Pizza Place. And um, let me ask you a question, see if you know this. Who's the actor who is like a famous actor who was the voice of this really famous cartoon character in the, I mean, in the movies recently in Shrek and was also a sitcom actor and um, he's from outer space in the sitcom. Do you know who he is? No idea. I, I John Lithgow! See? I know everything. You name it, I know it. The only thing I can't understand about so over us is, is the, the fact that they talk to themselves. What was that? And how do you put like this device in your teeth that changes your mood? That's ridiculous. And they use this small square like like remote control thing and they change your mood. Sorry. Yeah, I'm in a casting. Uh, I'll back, I'll play back. Sorry. So yeah, I was talking about soap operas. Well, um, they they're really fun to watch, but sometimes it gets a little bit sickening because what's with the pulling legs and stuff? Like, oh my god! Like, like, and it, I I love when they sit there and they go. I think Bo loves me. What if he doesn't? What if he? No, it can't be. But maybe he does. But maybe he doesn't. What's with that? I mean, like, do people really talk to themselves like that, like, all the time? Because they do it all the time. And if I watch it today, and I watch it three months later, they, I think they just move, like, maybe two days. Because real time is way too slow in days of our lives. Do you know what I mean?